able to play in this series. Three down and one to go for the National League champion Cincinnati Reds. Cincinnati blowing out the A's in front of their hometown crowd in game three of the World Series. That's not the Oakland A's that everybody in this clubhouse knows of and everybody that watches play. Chris Sable, the A's killer tonight, belting two homers and driving in three runs. Not bad for a guy who does not consider himself a home run hitter. I think I'm more of a doubles type of hitter. And uh, I think I'm a good mistake, mistake hitter. And uh, you know, if I get mistakes, I can hit it hard. The Reds knocked out A starter Mike Moore after just two and two thirds inning of work. They played well. I mean, you know, three games in a row they played really well. So you do. You have to give them credit. They've they've gone out and, and done what they've had to do to win ball games. Why have the Reds dominated the A's overall in this World Series? What I've seen, they've been aggressive on the bases, aggressive at the plate. They pitch well, they defense well, they've done everything right. And, you know, that's why they're three games up. The question now, can the A's come back from a 3-0 deficit? The way we're playing right now, no. But if we play Oakland A's baseball, yes. The A's will try to avoid the sweep tomorrow as they'll go at their ace, Dave Stewart. Meanwhile, Cincinnati will counter with Game 1 winner, Jose Rio. From the Oakland Coliseum, Dave Grassoff, News 10 Sports.